Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf, joined today by a new special guest. This is Cameron Fitzer. Cameron is a master club fitter at the Minnetonka location. Um, Cameron, thanks for joining. Uh, yeah. You will be seeing Cameron more a little bit on the channel here in the future, but want to first kind of introduce you to the viewers, yeah. let you, you kind of tell you know, your story, how you got to Second Swing, a little bit about maybe your experience as a player Definitely. and um, you know, how long you've been fitting at Second Swing as right, well. So right. let the viewers know. Gotcha. So really, I, I would say my start at Second Swing kind of just started as a customer, actually. Really? I was always in here shopping around, spending a lot of time, hanging out in the demo base, trying a lot of stuff out, and really kind of just blossomed into what I would call just passion for golf, golf equipment more specifically, where kind of a, a case where we can take a player who really skill-wise doesn't really matter where they're at currently, right. but we can kind of take their current game and just give them a little more performance out of it, which I think is kind of the cool aspect. Um, but as far as like a golf background for me, um, played four years high school golf, just in Andover, so like 30 okay. minutes north of here. Um, college golf wasn't necessarily something that was on my radar too much necessarily. Um, I still like to play competitively every once in a while. It's not necessarily like super big amateur events or, or like state open stuff in Minnesota. Um, but as far as a handicap, I'm like a plus one, plus one and a half index. Okay. You got some game then. Yeah, I like okay. to play quite a bit. Um, just being in here, this is where I spend more of my time versus just on the course. So sure. ideal situation, I'd like to play more, but oh yeah, being well, around, that's, that's you know right. that's that's the uh, you know that's the adult experience. Right. You don't get to play golf. Being around night, the game though, here really I've got no complaints. I, yeah. I've had a great time oh, yeah. at Second Swing. The, the it's last a nice, few years, it's so. nice spot to hang out. Most definitely, of the day. definitely. Yeah. So. All right, we got your bag here. Yep. Uh, we wanted to take the viewers through your bag and how we kind of, um, you know, just the fitters in general. We have so many talented fitters here at right. Second Swing, and it's kind of cool to, you know, uh, go under the microscope and see what's in their bag Definitely. and how they got there. So Definitely. with your bag, let's start at the top. Yep. Start with the big stick and the yep. driver. What you have? What do you have for a driver there? I am. Uh, I'm rocking the Titleist TSR2 right now. So kind of new release from Titleist came mm -hmm. out this uh, this fall. Really, really good. Something I've tested quite a bit. Actually went down to Titleist Performance Institute down in Oceanside and, and got some, some actual outdoor uh, ability mm -hmm. to test it, seeing ball flights, stuff like that. So from my testing, as well as what I've seen performance-wise from, from a lot of the guys that come in for fittings, yeah. really good stuff out of this. Yeah. Super forgiving head. Um, really great shape coming out of the yeah. previous TSI stuff, specifically in this two model, where it's more of like a player's look, yeah, not as is. big, as mm -hmm. bulky as, as like that TSI was. Um, and really for me, I'm, I'm kind of a low ball hitter. So my kind of bread and butter yeah. with this one is higher loft. And I was going to say, I, I see an 11 head. degree uh, head there. So yeah. you must be kind of a low launcher. Yeah. Bit. Always kind of that low left definitely is the miss for me. Okay. So a lot of the stuff in here, to be honest, is built more to go towards that high, right? Something yeah. I like to see from a flight perspective, anything low left in my sure. eyes just scares me quite yeah. a bit. So. Well, that's like good though. You're kind of right. you're trying to eliminate one side at least. That, you're not, you're not the player the with for multiple sure. misses like right. maybe someone like me. So right. So uh, 11 degrees, high loft, set flat, just so I can get a little bit more fade bias built in that way too. Um, shaft, something a little different here. Yeah. Um, we're graphite design UB 6X. Um, so one of kind of the the premium upcharge options yeah. that is kind of uh, offered by Titles with the new TSR stuff. Um, my kind of feel with this one, I played it in my previous driver too, actually, just really, really stable. Yeah. Not something where it feels overly bulky or like I'm swinging a telephone pole necessarily. I'd say smooth and stable are probably two pretty good words to, to describe sure. this one. So sure. I'd say it's definitely earned a spot in my bag as for right yeah, now. Yeah, and so. a ton of good feedback from the yeah. TSR drivers, the two and three especially, you know, so yeah. far um, in the last few months just from being right. out in the fitting right. base here. So. Moving down, fairy yeah. woods, maybe into hybrids. What do you got? Definitely. So fairy wood next, uh, actually a five wood. So okay. I don't play a three wood personally. Kind of back to the same trend where higher loft, the driver helped me get the ball up in the air a little bit more. We're same thing on the fairy wood where I only play a five wood instead of like typical three wood or, yeah. or three wood five wood that you see from a lot of players. Um, similar concept on this from a setting standpoint as well. Five wood actually set a little bit flat and actually set a little open as well too. So down slightly in loft. Okay just over 17 in terms of the playing loft. And then shaft here, we're actually 10 say 1K black and an 85X, so just a little heavier. Um, this one's a little different in the sense that it actually plays a little shorter too. Okay. So kind of something that we- Shorter than like a five wood standard? Yeah, okay. so it's actually at 41 and a half, so quite a bit shorter yeah. actually. To me, this was something where off the turf, it really helped me. Mm -hmm. My tendency is always be more of a picker, really shallow, even get upwards angle of attack with yeah. the wood. Shorter length on this one allowed me to get down on it, and really from a comfortability standpoint, when I stand yeah. over this thing, I feel like I'm hitting a seven iron. Yeah, so which it's, is which is awesome. good because fairy woods are. Temp I mean, you're not supposed to be hitting up right. on fairy woods off the turf, especially. So yeah. if that you know that setup allows you to comfortably 
hit down or at least somewhat close for to sure. neutral. So for sure, yeah, this one, this one's been great too. Really excited to to kind of get some more rounds within it next year once we uh, get back to our, our golf weather here right. in the state. Right. right, there's not snow all over the ground. Right. Um, next, uh, I've actually got a an oldie Ooh, but a that goodie. Is a classic. Right. Look at that. Yeah. So something I've had really since I was probably a sophomore in high school is this yeah. 915H uh, three hybrid is what it's labeled. 21 degrees more so is, is where I'm looking at it from a loft perspective. Um, like I said, this has kind of been trusty yeah. for me. Uh, probably four or five different shafts have kind of gone into this. So really some tinkering from that standpoint. Not necessarily that I wanted to change performance a ton, more so just mm -hmm. looking for different feels. Yeah. I've kind of settled on something here. Kind of just goes back to some other stuff where it feels really stable. Yeah. It doesn't feel overly bulky, but it does, it has a, a great weight to it too. So similar from a setting standpoint, B1, so it sits a little flat and then yeah. shaft here where Ventus Blue HB and a 9X. So just a little okay. heavier, uh, yep. same flex, similar to what we yeah. were in those those last two options. Yeah, the, the 915 medals have been sticking around. You know, if you look right. at PJ Tour Yeah, bags, I, I know a couple guys. A lot of those Tyler Staffers are, right. there's, there's a like lot of JT the fairways five, hybrids are yeah. still you know, know sticking Jason around. I know Jason Duffner so. plays a 915 7. Well, there's, there's still a couple hanging around. Yeah, for sure. there are. Yeah. There are. So from there, irons. Yep. I see a familiar, popular model in there, again right. from Titleist. Yep, yep. yep. Again, similar to kind of the conversation we had as well too, not necessarily that I've got just a big brand preference or affinity for, for Titleist or really any brand necessarily. Always something that we like to recommend to players that come in here as well as the guys that work here, going through the fitting process. Because otherwise, you don't know what you're playing. Right. You gotta go through it, try yeah. stuff out. Um, really not necessarily where I would have expected coming out necessarily in this head. I definitely had some other kind of front runners that I liked as well too. Um, but T100 has been great. Again, going back to low ball flight, typically yeah. a low spin guy, 34 degree, seven iron traditional lofts, helps yeah. you get the ball up in the air. Um, being a slightly smaller profile too, honestly, forgiveness on these has been pretty solid as well. Yeah. I think that's why I feel comfortable enough to play four iron down through pitching wedge. Yeah. Just looking down and it doesn't necessarily scare me a ton, similar to like an, an MB or a sure. super bladed golf club. Wood. Right, right. Um, shaft here, uh, it's a LZ. So yep. kind of loading zone from Project X, a little bit smoother. Uh, again, whole concept there was help me create a little bit height. So that's why we're a little bit smoother in the midsection here. Something that helps sure. me load it and create that height and trajectory that I'm really looking for. Especially from an iron where irons, it's not about a distance contest. Like we just had a conversation. Yeah. We got to land it and stop it too. Right. So that's that's kind of the Yeah, you know, the irons are there. precision clubs, not distance clubs. I think right. that's what, uh, I'll, you know, we always try to emphasize, I guess, especially for someone like you, that's a better player yeah. and can, you know, has enough speed to get the ball out there. Definitely. Um, now moving down to the wedges, I see right. a different brand. Different brand, yeah. yeah. So change it up a little kind of into the wedges. And this is actually something that's kind of been a staple in my bag for a little while now. So these are Glide 4.0s from Ping. Um, historically, I played the original Glides. Glide 3.0s would have okay. been my last uh, kind of set of wedges. 4.0s are really good. Mm -hmm. So especially from the 3.0s. To me, I like them, but they were definitely a little bit bigger and a little bit bulkier compared to like these. Yeah, fours. they did refine that shape a little definitely bit. Definitely a little cleaner, cleaner yeah. a little more compact. Um, really, the biggest thing that's kind of kept me within the pink stuff is really just the lob wedge that I love. Yeah, I see degree. there's a, is that a T grind. Yeah, your yeah. your thin sole. Again, I'm a picker, not really steep into it, so something a little thinner, thin leading right. edge mm -hmm. really helps me get down to the bottom of the golf ball and allows me versatility on a short right. shots around the green too, which sure. is definitely nice as well. Sweet. And um, last year, I see a kind of a cool head cover here yeah. on this, this putter. Again, this was something that uh, down down in California, we actually went to the Scotty Cameron kind of gallery down there and looked around a little bit. Um, so that was kind of just something I picked up as sure. a, a little kind of memento or yeah, something yeah, yeah. To, to bring back. But um, kind of a, an old face in here, too. Yeah, that, um, that's a classic shape. Right. So Scotty's over the years. Select Golo, I believe this was like a 2013 or 2014 release. Yeah. Um, to me, it's just the shape of this guy that I love. Yeah. Kind of that half mallet, not big and bulky like a lot of the other yeah. mallets out there as well too, where it mm -hmm. can definitely start to look like a spaceship almost. Yeah. This to me is just really clean and kind of bridges the gap between traditional blade style as well as yeah. kind of your performance benefits of yeah. a stable head like a mallet. So. And you can still kind of get the feel of almost one of those those blades. That, right. That's got Mill. Yeah. So you get, then, you get kind of the best of both worlds there. Exactly. You know, that, that look of a forgiving club, yeah. but then the feel of that. Definitely. That and really specs here, not something that really people go into a ton on putters, but again, having putter bay here and kind right. of getting into the numbers a little bit more, something where I definitely know where this one sits from a loft and lie perspective. We're four degrees of loft, so a little bit higher loft yeah, than you yeah. buy off the shelf. Um, always a case where my hands kind of lead the stroke, de-lofted typically. So okay. 
in order to get in a good launch window on Quintech, I, I've got to be a little bit higher lofted. So yeah. that's kind of where we got this one set up right now. And really, since I put this in the bag, I don't think there's been yeah. any going back necessarily. So. Well, Cameron, thanks again for joining. A really cool look at your bag. And the viewers, once again, you can leave a comment for Cameron. Tell him what you think of his bag. And we will see you next time.